We are proud that uh, our Ministry of Health is, has this initiative of lung screening and you are leading it. Thank you for the guidelines. It will be helpful for the, all the attendees. Uh, now, um, it's very important presentation. And he is a very important world leader. When we say a chairman all through, he's Guy Frisia. When we say a friend to Egypt, he's Guy Frisia. By the way, he's now online with us. So any questions you would like to ask him, he's ready. And he never hesitated in spite of the late notice. He accepted my invitation to our conference and he has been here in last year. But due to unsee unforeseen some um, circumstances, he apologized for not being with us. Um, it's, not out, it's, it's really out of his hands. Uh, Professor Frisia is the chairman of the International Society of Radiology Quality and Safety and former president at the ECR and a board of directors for the ESR, which is the European Society of Radiology. He is a, a professor of radiology, specialized in spe uh, chest imaging, and he's the head of department coming from France. Um, he has been long-standing chairman for 15 years uh, for the Eurosafe Imaging and many other uh, big organizations worldwide. Thank you very much, Professor Guy. We are honored uh, having your time and your nice presentation. Please, you can start. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends, uh, let me start uh, uh, in saying that I am very much disappointed to have not been able to attend uh, your meeting in person. And I would like to uh, deeply thank you uh, for uh, accepting that uh, I, I will be doing this, uh, this talk uh, remotely. Uh, the title of my talk is uh, Quality and Safety in the Era of Artificial Intelligence. And before to start, let's say that uh, I don't have nothing to disclose why this uh, uh, title because ai is a game changer impacting the whole spectrum of medicine including imaging ai is uh, already widely used in interpretative and also in non-interpretative domains and therefore therefore its impact on quality and safety concepts are expected to be significant here are the outlines of my talk, and I will address uh, study selection and protocoling, image acquisition, study reporting and contrast agents, and of course, uh, we will uh, uh, highlight the impact on quality and safety and on radiation protection. As you may know, uh, inappropriate imaging orders may represent up to 30% of other examinations and uh, this was confirmed recently in the EU JUST project showing that the green bars which correspond to fully appropriate hardly reach 80 percent. Point of care clinical decision support uh, is representing today the, uh, the standard, the best for uh, increasing appropriateness examinations. However, uh, their dissemination is limited for uh, uh, several reasons, in particular due to their complexity uh, and insufficient clinical coverage, and also by a low adoption by the physician requesters. There are several uh, studies uh, showing the uh, interest of AI for this uh, uh, vetting, uh, uh, vetting step. And uh, this study, for example, probably one of the most uh, uh, recent, uh, published by an uh, European team, is uh, showing that uh, uh, they could demonstrate that the imaging approaches determined by the GPT-4 based on patients' medical history and clinical question extractions showed a high agreement to the reference standard uh, in this study, the reference standard, uh, was uh, uh, clinical decision support. And uh, uh, from this study, uh, we could say that AI uh, uh, associated with the uh, 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 natural language processing 
in combination with chat GPT-4, uh, allows first to give a strong support for the, for the automatic vetting step on one hand, and on the second hand, to propose also appropriate protocols. And therefore, it is expected by AI will revolutionize the implementation of the justification and the optimization processes. As regards image reconstruction, you know that uh, there have been extensive research efforts to use machine learning techniques to improve image reconstruction in uh, different modalities. However, their dose reduction is still limited to 25-30%. How AI is doing better? AI is doing better in extracting the noise from the component image. And as you know, there is always a huge amount of noise in clinical images. And as you can see here, on the left part of the screen, this is uh, called a noise corrupted CT image. And on the right side, the enhanced image after the denoising. Let me show only one example of the efficiency of this uh, denoising software. Uh, you can see here a comparison between the routine dose and uh, a dose at only 16 mass, which uh, corresponds to dose reduction to 60 to 70 percent. And you can see here the two images are quite similar. The uh, other interest of AI is the uh, ability to provide synthetic images. What is a synthetic image? Synthetic image is an image that has been partially or fully created using computer-generated graphics. In other words, synthetic images are exploiting existing data and are not requiring a, a specific acquisition. And uh, uh, using uh, these uh, uh, softwares, you can uh, get uh, really uh, interesting images. For example, in this mammograph, if you compare the AFDM with synthetic one, you can see that uh, the calcification is much more well visible on the synthetic image. And uh, the author of the studies they said that the uh, synthetic mammogram appears poised to replace FFDM in a screening mammography and the screen benefits of this synthetic mammogram is to decrease the image acquisition time and also to decrease the radiation of a patient. Uh, using the same concept, uh, it is possible to convert low dose images to virtual higher dose image with the same high image quality and uh, with a dose reduction of uh, uh, 79%. And you can see here, if you compare in this uh, uh, digital breast tomosynthesis examples, if you compare the calcification uh, of a gold standard full dose image with the uh, virtual uh, high dose image, you can see that the appearance is uh, more or less exactly the same. And again, using the same, uh, the same concept, uh, they uh, showed that it is possible to decrease the gadolinium dose by uh, 90%. And uh, here you have an example uh, where uh, they use only 10% of the uh, contrast agent. This is the pre-contrast image, the low dose uh, with uh, routine reconstruction. And this is the full dose. And here the synthetic image, you can see the uh, uh, lesion on the full dose and the synthetic image is uh, uh, exactly the same. And I think this is important at this point to stress the importance of uh, AI synthetic images because they uh, could provide a dose reduction but also contrast agent dose reduction and uh, this uh, uh, should have a high impact on radiation protection and on safety. Functional imaging, radio mix, and the patient follow-up require uh, very frequently 
the quantification of uh, uh, high amount of data and uh, we can easily understand that uh, having an automatic quantification tool would be not only helpful for the uh, physician workload uh, but also for the reproducibility of the uh, uh, reading of examinations. This is an uh, example of uh, scoring systems which are making the uh, quantification of the data automatically. And you can see that the, uh, the scope of the system is very wide. And uh, probably this kind of system would be extremely useful in the daily use. And uh, I would like to, to say at this point that increasing uh, uh, the reproducibility of a reader's performance significantly contributes to the quality of the report and to the quality of the quantification tasks. There are uh, several underexplored areas in the radiology value chain that could benefit from machine learning applications. However, they are uh, beyond the scope of my talk. So I would like now to go to my summary in saying that AI is a game changer that will significantly help to improve quality and safety and uh, which uh, would have a high impact on radiation protection. And I uh, am very happy to, to quote my uh, ISR president, uh, Bib Allen. Uh, he has been interviewed uh, in Nature recently and he said, the real goal to me is for AI to help us do the things that humans aren't very good at, like I would add, like quality and safety. And with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Professor Gifrija, thank you very much for being with us. It's a real honor and very informative presentation. Uh, we will return you with questions, uh, if any, at uh, the audience level. But now we take the opportunity of having uh, two eminent national uh, panelists who, ha who are the first time to join us at the Ministry of Health conference. We wouldn't leave this uh, to go without asking them uh, important question that will benefit us. I will start with Professor Amr al Hagg Ali, the chairman of the Egyptian Atomic Energy uh, Authority. Uh, there is a big link between the authority 